from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're tracking rain chances that are going to be increasing over the next few days. Now, tomorrow's not going to be that bad. I think it's going to look gloomier than it actually is. The clouds are going to be the big story, but there are going to be a few showers and there could be a brief wintry mix north and west of the city. And then by Thursday and Friday, I think we'll actually see ample rainfall that'll do some of the yards some good uh, as we have not had measurable rain in 14 days. Here's that system right now and you can see a large system. It is bringing showers into portions of Illinois stretching all the way down into Texas. That's going to be lifting eastward as we head into the day tomorrow. And that's why our rain chances come from. Here's the seven o'clock hour and notice not a lot of moisture here. And that's why I'm saying this isn't going to be an overwhelming event. Lots of cloud cover out there. A uh, few flurries out north and west of the city as we get closer to lunchtime. Uh, the, some light showers, more moisture building to the south of us. Uh, but the clouds will be a big part of the forecast for the day tomorrow. And because of that, I am expecting us not to warm up a whole lot. We'll start off in the mid 30s. Have the umbrella on standby in the back seat of the car. I don't think this is going to be an overwhelming type of situation, but I don't think you're going to be going for a walk in the park either. Temperatures struggling to get into the upper 30s near 40 through the afternoon while daytime highs struggle to hit the mid 40s. We're cooling back down, hanging out near 40 through tomorrow evening. Taco Tuesday going to be a dish best served, uh, maybe delivered at your front door. Heading into St. Patty's Day, clouds will still be part of our story here. The flows at the uh, surface will shift. We're looking at a southeasterly direction, and that's going to bring in some milder air getting to the 50 degree mark by 12 o'clock. Upper 50s for daytime highs with clouds lingering through the evening. But the rain event starts to take shape on Thursday morning. Heavier showers out in western Maryland, light to moderate rain across the metro area. And I think we get a little bit of lull of the activity through the afternoon, but more of that energy lifting through as that surface low pressure system develops. We'll keep moisture around through Thursday night into the start of your Friday and then watching this line that develops to the north because that will eventually push in as we head into the second half of your Friday. And I think that it's going to be moving slow enough where we'll actually get a little bit of mixing, especially in portions of northern Maryland. So we'll watch for that. The good news, the ground has been warm, so that's going to kind of help reduce some of our accumulations. But Talking about watering the grass here, we're looking at the potential to pick up about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of rain as we head through Thursday and Friday. So this is going to be a welcome change that will actually put us right on target with what we should uh, have for the month. And the good news is it finally dries out in turn for the weekend. You know, we had all those beautiful days in the week last week. Looks like Sunday is going to be pretty nice. Upper 50s flirting with 60 we will be at 62 degrees above average as we head back to work on Monday.